So we're taking a look at the goodly... I forgot what it is. Goodly conflict mode. Goodly conflict, right. So what's this one all about? Uh, this one actually has things available to you, like uh, opponents available to you to attempt to do battle with. Okay. Well, that sounds pretty awesome, actually. Uh, really tough we get to do this already. Yeah, the AI is not amazing. Okay. From what I've seen, I have uh, I haven't I didn't manage to actually go up against any enemies in the previous recording I did, but. Uh, yeah, they, they, it's apparently a little bit buggy and not quite a hundred percent. Right. Also, what might help you? I found out. Um, think back to the old, the old controls, uh, and you've got home end page up and page down at your home disposal. Ends. What do they do? Oh, okay. Yep, page up. Oh. Page down. Yeah. yeah, that's good. There we go. That's what I was looking for. I found that. I was like, ah, yes, that's what I want. So I need to try and get. Oh, 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 oh! My button got st stuck. <laughs> I need to try and get some gold. Pretty quick, and build some rooms. Start getting some creatures in. So you've already looked at this jobs. I've looked at this mode. Yes. Okay, so what did you find in this mode? Uh, it was it was basically doing what you've done in the sandbox, really. Um, only not as in depth, not fully as in depth and detailed. Um, I just found what rooms were what, what could and couldn't be done. I also found that the the pickaxe is a little bit squiffy. Not just in this mode, just in general. The pickaxe don't try and click buttons. You with if you're over, over a wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that's that one out. That gets that gets a little bit. Also, hitting, actually uh, asking it to mine a certain wall out. It's more the end of the pickaxe rather than the tip, rather than the point. Is it? You, oh, yeah, right, okay. you have to sort of aim at. So I think that needs a little bit of attention and the positioning. But that's probably like, you know, low down on there development tree compared to actually making it function. Right, um, so it seems like the lair at the moment costs 100 gold. Which is interesting. Pretty sure it was 200 in Dungeon Keeper 2. I'm well, doing a lot of comparing. Things. And yeah, yeah, realistically it's, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense to really compare the two because that although there's influence it's not I don't know it's not it's not there's a lot of differences that mean that comparing them leaves you sort of wondering where certain things are when they're not really going to exist if that makes sense um no evidently <laughs> <laughs> basically comparing the two is it, yes they have similarities but they're, they're not the same so you're looking at it from a different angle completely. Yeah. Also, one thing I did like, can you remember that, uh, from what I can remember, from what I, it's been a while since I played DK2, um, there was, they had an issue with the imps taking gold to your dungeon heart instead of treasuries and stuff like that they would aim for the dungeon heart first with this you okay. can actually build a treasury near to the gold and they will go there first they'll go to the nearest available place to store gold all oh, right that means you don't actually have to keep moving gold out of your dungeon miscellaneous thing that hasn't been confirmed as being named yet I'm pretty sure that worked for me when I played uh, DK2. Then I could easily just be remembering it wrong. I do like the imps dance in this. Much better than just jumping up and down. Really? They do that? 
What, when capturing... Uh... Yeah, when they're claiming land. Claiming a title. They actually do a dance. I'm waiting to see if I can spot one doing it. Here we go. Alright, yeah. That's pretty cool. And if you're zooming into them, they act, the, the imps do have audio. Well, sorry, oh, well, I've, I've got the blood audio. Blood imps. We can make that specific Ooh. there. They have blood imps. I've got the audio really... Yeah, you need to go and mix it. There's no... Yeah. There's no in-game controls, you need to actually go into the mixer and windows to shut it up for a bit. I heard I heard something. It's really, really quiet though. Because the uh, ambient noise is really, really loud. It's loud, but it's else. nice, isn't it? It's, I, I quite like it. It's uh, pretty spooky. But obviously there are no uh, volume controls yet. Yeah. In the Bedrock Beta. Right, I'm trying to think, what do I need to build? I've got two small layers, a slaughterhouse, a treasury room. So I need... Is there much point having a library in a workshop? Uh, if you could manage to get a library in a workshop, I'd be astonished. Really? Yeah, because they don't exist. Oh, right, sorry. Um, <laughs> the, 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 I forgot what they're called again. Foundry would be where they make things. And okay. the archive would be where they research things. Right. I knew that. Yeah. I know you did. I um, you know, just had to nudge you with a reminder. But yeah, <laughs> I, I know you knew it. It's all right. So there should be enemies in here somewhere. There are enemies. I am trying to locate the general direction. But I think you have to do just a little bit of exploring. I, there is... It does guide you when you find a... There are, like, tunnels that sort of nudge you towards... Going this way would be a good idea, sort of thing. Oh, right, okay. Well, my imps are... Okay, so they got all the way down a tunnel, and it's blocked at the end. I'm guessing if I unblock that, I'll find enemies. Yes. If, right. Well, you should be able to see them. I uh, haven't seen any yet. I do believe they're just dwarves. Oh, right, okay. Right, Let's so say I didn't get in there fully. Um, one of them. There's not much point building these rooms yet, because... Well, we can't build any traps yet, can we? No. However, as with other games, um, rooms relate to unit types. Right. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So if Good you point. wish to have units, you must call them forth. Okay. Right, I need some more imps, I think. Blood imps. Right, 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 right. One of them, one of them, one of them, and one of them. Okay. I've got some more blood imps. Doing a lot of digging. Uh, pretty low on my... I was pretty low on money. I've got money now. Yeah, it does tend to stock up well enough. Right, so I've got... Uh, room with the books and room with the hammer. <laughs> you got an archive and a foundry. That's the ones. Yeah. Well, I have an auger at the moment, and a, a gnarling. Um, yep, I've got one of them, I've got a gnarling, I've got two of the... The ones with the hoods. Okay, cultist. Cultist, that's the one. I knew that, I just couldn't remember it. I've got three cultists, I've got two gnarlings. There is also, um, you know, there were certain good unit types to have in like other the... games. Dark Knight. Yeah, there's going to be good units to have, but they're not going to be like, well, you know, capture this point or you know, there isn't a way to there isn't a way to have a room that summons them forth or anything like that. However, you will have the option of doing things in the game with units that help turn them into other units. Huh? Yeah, there's, how there's, does how what there's how does that work? Things that have been said and things that have been held back in secret, and 
there will be a certain method of sacrificing certain things that will bring forth and make them more. Epic. So you will get to decide. It's about this time that I no longer want X unit, but I could make them become Y unit, and Y unit would be better for me right now. Right. Ah, oh, look, I found dwarf. <laughs> Thou hast dwarfage. Right. I'm going to dig through the wall and have some fun. I'll get a couple more of these. There you go. Get them to work. Yes, there's no spell at the moment that will um, call it's them to a location. And one blood imp. Uh, no more blood imp. Right, so the dwarves are walking through my, dun my dungeon. Slightly. Slightly. So they're sort of tiptoeing through the edges. The blood imps don't run away. No. Hmm. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to... So, so what's the strongest minion we've got at the moment? Um... As an approximate theoretical, I don't know, but I would say the auger. Okay. Auger. He's very slow. Yeah. Sounds pretty That's good, pretty... though. Um, I'm not sure this possession spell's working properly. Why not? Because uh, I'm kind of... In its knees, I suppose. Ah, yes, it's at the height of the um, blood imps. Right. Um, the cult is quite funny there. Ah, dwarf. Right, can I attack? Or um, no, I'm pressing spacebar. I'm getting out, but, and I'm going to let him do his business. Yeah, you have to sort of let him get on with it. What the? Oh. What? They just walk I found off. a bug. Nope, um, my thingy disappeared. Right, okay, well, we're not worried about, you know, your personal life. I think the imps just killed them. Um, <laughs> something happened that was a bit strange, and the auger's not there anymore, and nor is the dwarf. Okay, so did the dwarf kill the auger and then an imp killed the dwarf? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Well, there you go. Welcome to Bedrock Beta. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, I think the imps just killed the dwarves. That's awesome. Because they're hardcore. Yeah. I'm impressed by that. No piddling them in their trousers and then just legging it. Right, so I found a lot more gold. Aha! And a dwarf. Okay, so if I dig around there... And I want to see what's in this room... Ah, oh, so it's just like um, DK2. It's just a little room surrounded by rock that you can't dig with dwarves in. Awesome. So do you know if there's going to be any way to capture minions or find minions around the map in a similar sort of right. way? Neutral creatures, uh, yep. I can't really remember whether they were definitely confirmed or not. There was talk about that. However, there is most certainly ways to convert oh yes that was one of the, the amazing uh, things yeah the previous uh, units in other games that would do such a thing has been in this game made to be a succubus and uh, okay. for the goodly side there's an inquisitor you have an excess of mistresses there's a there's word, a word for keepers for keepers yes I, that was my favourite I used to aim to have that many mistresses purely to hear that there are quite a few quotes from DK2 that me and Jobs could recite but I don't yeah. think it's such a good idea no no that's that's just a that's a whole other thing we just throw them in what's your favourite one there. what's your favourite quote from uh, yeah, DK2 yeah that's it that would be the one you just recited oh. that is my top quote that, that, I, I, as I say I built Big, as big a room as possible, I got rid of creatures just to have that many mistresses. More mistresses. Yeah. yeah. 
I mean, I used to, people would have a go at me, but I used to throw out bile demons uh, left, right, and centre. I hate them. Big. Yeah. Grumpy. Grumpy, moody. And lazy and. Yeah. They, now, they always want food, and you plonk them down next to a chicken, and they and still they want food. Yeah. yeah. Well, they never stop. They've been obviously they are intellectually, you know, held by EA now. Uh. Uh, <laughs> um, they're, yeah, the intellectual property, and then they're they're held elsewhere. So we aren't really having them. However, we will have uh, the theoretical equivalent. Um, which is a chunder. Oh, yes. Yes, I've seen um, concept you art. You saw for those. the concept, yes. And massive hammer on the head. Yep. Charging attacks and such, you know. Um, and will work in the foundry. Awesome. I believe the auger works in the foundry as well, obviously, because it upgrades its weaponry. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. So it would find um, scraps on the battlefield and then take it has them to go to back to yeah. It, it can't just and... yeah. I mean, it's not like uh, the upgrading concept in Commander Conquer Three, which is literally just you know the war mech would reach down, pick something up, and that'll do. No, it has to take the scrap back and fabricate something new from it. Right. That sounds cool. So have we only got dwarves as enemies in this so far? Uh, as I say, didn't make it far enough in to be able to see that myself. And as a guess, I'd say yes. No I'm giants? I'm not sure, but I would say yes. That's it. That's all there is. Do we um, have a list of the goodly heroes that are going to be in this game? Or that well, are in it so I've far? I've mentioned the... Inqu right, well... Uh, well you want confirmed? Do you want... Yeah. Uh, right. Uh, confirmed. Racking my brains on all of them now. Because that's a list. An actual list. Um, well, as I've mentioned, the Inquisitor. Okay. Uh, that would be... You know, that's a unit that has the ability to... Um, convert through whatever torturous methods or whatever available to them. Um yeah. And they have some pretty nifty little tools when they're out on the battlefield as well. Um, I think there was something about them being able to, to twist creatures against each other and such. Okay. Um, yeah, many, many things there. Uh, so, the Inquisitor's one. They've also, during the Bedrock Beta, they, when they released that, they did the video for it. And... Everyone was like, hang on a minute, new unit. We haven't seen this before. Um, and it looks like a, a, a bard. Uh, okay. I don't know if that's going to be more of a support because they haven't mentioned anything. It was sort of a, a bonus reveal sort yep. of thing. It's just a little hidden... Well, not so hidden, but it's there. Um, a little reveal on that. that He, he carries his loot um, and plays music I would assume of some kind hmm. um, but nothing's been revealed about him I'll say right now that the demo the uh, demo corn demo does, corn? The, the, yeah the uh, Whoa. oh I finally found the dwarves um, that that doesn't that's not that was 100% April Fools and is not going to be in existence um, unless it's an easter egg okay um there's obviously the dwarfs you've seen them. Um, I can't remember any of the other ones off the top of my head. They have released a few. Most of it's been, most of the concept art and such has been released around the slightly more intelligent units for the evil side. Okay. So, you know, stuff like. Um, the Necromancer, which yep. is a huge controversy over his hood, which looks very much like a lower jaw, and it feels very ah. cartoony. Looks like basically the skeleton of a hammerhead shark. Okay. Just sort of stuck on on the head of like the skull, the mouth, just stuck on the head of a person. Yep. Who has no lower jaw. 
to everyone's looking at it and going, well, that looks like, even I looked at it, I was like, that that's, looks, why is his lower jaw massive? That makes no sense. But no, apparently he has no lower jaw, and people are asking, can that concept be revised? Um, the Oculus looks pretty new and interesting. That's the floating eyeball thingy, isn't it? With multiple eyeballs surrounding it, yes, it's it's. It reminds me of something out of an old film. Long, long but you time can't ago. remember the film. Big Trouble in Little China. Okay. You not remember it? Oh, uh, what part? I'm not. There's like essentially an Oculus that flies around. Right, no. And it can no, see I things for being the Merculus, Merculus, Merciless, <laughs> or whatever the guy's name was. No, I don't recall that. Don't, you've seen the film? That's why I don't recall it. Right. <laughs> you don't recall it because you've seen it before. No, because I haven't seen the film. <laughs> oh, you haven't seen the film, no. right? That's you why haven't I seen don't Big Trouble in Little China. Uh, well, I. I don't remember watching it. Put it that way. Okay. I, I know oh. I've looked it up. I know that I've looked into it, but it's one of those films that just eluded me. I think. One of those. We should, we should watch it, but. I just never got round to actually watching it. Oh, it's quite an amusing old film. I'm sure I'll be able to pick up a, a bargain bin copy of the DVD somewhere. Hmm. Anyway, off topic. Yes, vastly off topic. Moving, re returning to said topic. Um, well, the units have been released and been confirmed. Succubus have done. Uh, oh, there's another good lead unit. Um, the knight okay or I don't know if it is actually called a knight it definitely looks a juggernaut that was it the juggernaut that's juggernaut that's that massive like yes. giant type thing yes right uh, that that was sort of confirmed before Kickstarter was was funded um because okay. that was that was in the uh, demo but yeah that's that's definitely still in they haven't they haven't got rid of that um. Hmm. I've got. I've, there's. There's many units. I'm many many think. units. Yeah. There's. There's something like. There's at least twenty units they've got planned from the off, and with loads more ideas of things they're aiming to do. You know, and continually keep adding more and more. So, so it's, it's going to be very rare, very varied. So, do we have any idea what's going to be happening in the next update? No, not really. Um, Do we have any idea when it's going to be? Well, it was... the. It was... What day is its day? It was Sunday today. There's an, it's War for the Overworld Wednesdays. So it was... The beta's been out for a, a while now. We may get... I think the next thing that's going to happen in the... The next War for the Overworld Wednesday will be... Uh, was it a ra was it Wrath they're going to? No, I think Wrath made it, but they didn't. One of the one of the they're going to do another one of the roots, one of the evil, one of the veins of evil okay. um, in the next update, and they'll probably give us some more information then, because obviously okay. it was just excitement of we can we you know we've got rid of all the bugs that killed the game and stopped it from working, so let's get the beta out, and I think that's what they were working on. They just wanted to make that announcement for last Wednesday. Right, so I guess we've kind of covered everything. Yeah, I think, I think you know, it's Almost accurately stuff. and adequate, adequately displayed yeah. our ineptitude. <laughs> yeah, I think... I think <laughs> well, this is, this is um, the first time we've really done any kind of videos like this. Uh, yeah. So we don't really know what we're doing. Um, so if, if there's anything we missed, if there's anything you want to know specifically, Start screaming um, at us, comments below. Yeah. I'm sure we can try and find out and tell us how useless let you we know are. The best that we can. Oh wow! Hang on what a you minute. Found? What you found? I've found an enemy base. Really? Yep. Yep, See, the whole I, thing. I never managed to get that far. Well, say never. This is only the second time of me being in here. And my imps will not come out of the my claimed land. They won't They will, yeah, will they yeah, not take go. over the enemy's land. No, here we go. I've, I've I've had to spawn another one to 
do as he's told. I found the enemy dungeon. This is good. I'm trying to see what's going on. So I've got, I've got a few imps on the front line. And they're starting to capture some land. I'm going to try and dig through the wall. Uh, it seems... It's... What? Yes, yeah, enemy, it's enemy claim the wall, but it doesn't seem to take them very long to get through it. Uh, it there will take... be reinforceable, like properly reinforceable. You, you can claim ah, the wall so and it... it will just be shored up and look nice, but it won't necessarily be reinforced. Right. There will, however, be a reinforceable option to make um, make them in. But there's actually a spell that will make the walls impenetrable for a certain amount of time. Wow. Completely, as in your all of your walls in your dungeon are completely impenetrable once this spell is active for a set period of time. Well, what I'm trying to do right now is get some of my creatures up towards the enemy base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a lair on the floor and a hatchery next to it. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to build the place where they sleep on the floor and a slaughterhouse next to it and take away the ones from my main base which should hopefully bring up all my guys when they want to eat something to where the enemies are fingers crossed right so there's a lair uh, uh, what, what's the name of the I do believe room? your lair is still accepted okay I said oh wow my imps are fighting one of the big guys well, and they're getting pwned okay. yeah I need to try and find my way back to my dungeon. Um, it's quite a long way. This right. was another issue that was in, that was spoken about um, on the forums that people were saying, well, you, the only thing you have the option of doing is possessing each and every single minion dragging them up to the front line and hoping that they don't disappear before you manage to get the rest of the guys up there. Oh, you can use your brain a bit, you know? Well, you know, I wouldn't say the community didn't use its brain, it's just that they obviously found that that was a little bit of an issue that the devs might want to resolve. Well, I found a bug. I sold the lair and it didn't sell. Yes, Probably. that is a confirmed bug. Uh, all their beds are still there. Yes. Is this going to be an issue? On the, I don't know. But on the upside, you recognise that clicking the button that has a dollar sign on it is sell. Oh, yeah. I had a complete derp moment in my recording where I was like, I'm clicking gold, what is this doing? I'm clicking the money, nothing's happening. What's going on? <laughs> I'm trying to see if uh, any of these guys are going to move up north. There are dwarves walking around. I do not like that. Do so you say north? I've found a place where there were dwarves. But it's just impenetrable rock all around it. Hmm. So, help me out here, right? If, if this impenetrable little room that I have, where I found dwarves, odd shaped room, is on my left, what direction from that do I have to travel? I don't know which way you're facing. Well, if the so. <laughs> if it's on my left, I would be facing a specific direction that allowed the room to be put on my left. I'm not sure I can help you. I'm trying to figure out where all I've my guys are. I've entered the room from the right-hand side. What room? The little room with a load of imp load of dwarves in it. Which one? Uh, okay, there are multiples because I found yep. one. Right, I found one. Okay. So from the Right, here we go then. Help me out here then. I'll provide sort of fixed points of reference. The important room miscellaneous thing that hasn't been named yet. Right, looking at that with my gateway to the top right. Uh, well, keep going top right. That's the direction you're going, sort of. Yeah. Uh, that, that, right, okay. So I'm going in the right direction. trying to take some of my guys up top because selling their lair and slaughterhouse didn't seem to work hmm so 
Don't you want to use your brain a bit? And I've got one of these guys with the hoods just kind of wandering around in some corridors. Not going very far. <laughs> yeah, see? There's, there's, there are issues there. It just doesn't like doing things. It's looking good, though. It really is. I when quite it comes like the, to uh, the looks, the treasury was amazing to me. I think it all looks really nice. I think we could do with some post-processing, if that's the right thing. Because <laughs> I, f I found the gold in the treasury wasn't really shimmering as much as it could do. You know? Which, uh, uh, yeah, definitely. But I think Although that's the... obviously final stuff, isn't it? That's more the torches on the wall look alright. Do they? Although, yeah, although it's the wrong way around. You have a torch on the wall? Look right, are you talking about the normal torches on just reinforced walls? Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, have you not seen the square box at the back? Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, okay. So you, you, you've skipped past that intentionally, not missed it. Uh, I was looking at it from a funny angle. Oh no! At look. a funny angle. Hang on a minute. It's like metallic and texture-ish and stuff. And texture-ish. Yeah. Right. Okay. Makes, makes sense in my head. Ah, right. I've made it to my new slaughterhouse. Which means I am where the enemies are. And there are some dwarves. Right, big green dudes. Smashing up a dwarf. Yeah, big green dude smashed up the dwarf. Two more dwarves. And he's gone. How could the dwarves kill him that easy? Right, well. We've established that's not working, but we found the hero's base, which looks pretty cool, actually. I think we should cut it here. Okay. You're happy to do that? I'm happy to yep. do that. So, back next time with news on updates and new content and stuff. Yes. Right. Until next time.